part of Blues Edge on his 100th appearance for the club against Sebri, hoping to reverse their recent form of four losses in a row. The Italians were going for their second win on the bounce in the farm, and so Dan Carter S. Hans from Carlo Canna sent Dion Berryman over for the opening try. The conversion was missed, but that sparked the Blues into life. Later, the score was level. A huge pass from Reese Patchell was on point. Adam Thomas to run in, just shrugging off the tackle. Five ball, ten minutes in, thanks to the missed conversion. Cardiff tried to build some momentum, but when Zebre got in their faces in the back line, Patchell spilled the ball and Matteo Fratichetti raced away. The centre realised he didn't quite have the pace to get to the line himself, but the support play was good and quick run ball along with more depth off short number eight, Trice van Scalpel, got the Italian's second try, which this time Canna converted for a 12-5 lead. Canna then missed the penalty shot at goal, but showed he still had his kicking boots on 28 minutes in with a neat dink over the Blues defence, which Johan Meyer gathered to score in Zebra's third try, which Canna again converted. 19-5 Zebra. Cardiff's opening day 61-13 win in Wales against Zebra. Patchell kept the visitors in touch with the penalty, which took the score to 19-8 Zebra at half time. The Italians came close to their fourth try just after the break, but was ruled out by the TMO. The Blues had their warning. Lloyd Williams responded when he spotted a gap on the fringe of a ruck to go clear. All that was left to do was execute a simple two-on-one, which winger Tom James finished and Patchell converted. Seven minutes was 19.15 to Zembre. The Blues were within touching distance and had their tails up, but Patchell missed this penalty chance to close the gap to one point in 20 minutes. Many would have expected Zembre to fall 